What's going on, you guys? A couple of packages from IWA got delivered today. Super excited. I've been waiting for these for a little while. So let's open this puppy up and see what's inside. Oh, man. Is that a beauty or what? In case you couldn't read the title of the video, it's the Tavor rifle. Comes with a 30 round magazine, lock, obviously the rifle, the manual, a really nice cleaning kit. And what do we got in this little box over here? Maybe it says something on the side or something. What's that? Tavor SCR 9mm conversion kit. Ooh, that's cool. Let's see what's in here. Another manual. Oh man. We got our 9mm barrel, our 9mm breech block and recoil assembly, magazine well adapter. What do we got here? Ooh, this looks like a 32 round stick mag. That'll come in handy. This looks like the 9mm shell deflector and the barrel change tool. Sweet. Alright, so I'm going to get everything out of the box, do my little initial impression, give you a quick review of the gun. Guys, I got the gun out of the box. Let's, uh, let's do a quick little overview of it. It's obviously a bullpup design. And man, when you pick this thing up, it's a little heavy, it's about 8 pounds. But man, this thing is built like a brick shit house. I mean, this is, you know, it's a battle proven design. You know, the Israelis have been using it for years now, and I'm Pretty confident you can run this thing over with a car and it would be no problem. It is built rock solid. And it can be set up for left or right handed shooters. Um, right now I am a lefty so I have the charging handle for lefty and the safety selector set up for lefty. Um, it is still set up for right hand ejection. But if you turn the rifle over it can easily be switched to left hand ejection. But you do need to purchase the left hand bolt. Um, yeah, it is about 8 pounds, so it's a little heavier than most ARs, but it feels a lot lighter in the hands because all the weight is back here up against your shoulder, and you know, you're really only supporting not that much weight in the front. So it's very pointable, it's super quick, it's fucking awesome. I'm not going to lie, when I first got it, I took it out of the box and I went room to room with my condo and uh, did some old tactical room clearing drills with it. And yeah, it is, it's so pointable and so fast on target, it, it, is, it is truly awesome. And uh, yeah, the overall length is only 27 inches. So that is, that is tiny, it's shorter than most SBRs. So let me bring in my AR-15 and I'll show you just how short this, this guy really is. Move this up. So here's my AR-15. Can't even get the whole thing in the frame. So there's the buttstock fully collapsed, and you can just see the barrel pretty much comes out to the end of like the gas block, not even. So this thing's shorter than most SBRs, yet you have a full 16 and a half inch barrel, so you're not losing any velocity or any ballistics from the round. So that is a huge advantage that really can't be ignored since you have all the benefits of an SBR but there's no tax stamp and no registration and you have a full length barrel there's no ATF bullshit so yeah this this is the way to go right here let me get the AR-15 out of the way um, another great thing about the gun is how easy it is to take down all you need is your 5.56 round or a dummy round or any small pointy object push in this one takedown pin Back cover flips open, and that's everything right there. You have your recoil assembly, bolt, and gas piston. Um, if you've ever seen a scar, the bolt looks very similar to a scar, and the piston's kind of like it's kind of half AK, half scar. Since this is a long stroke piston, meaning that the piston is actually attached to the bolt carrier and goes back with the recoil of the gun, whereas in a short, short stroke piston system, the piston stays in the glass block and just taps on the bulk carrier. 
and the inertia sends that flying back and spring pressure forward. So that's that. Let me put the gun back together. It's just as easy to put back together as it is to take apart. And that's that. Ready to go. Uh, it comes with a magazine. It's kind of like a P-Mag wannabe. Um, is IWI branded. And hey, made in the USA, so no complaints about that. Um, I did notice the followers a little bit stiffer than my P-Mags. Actually, it's a lot stiffer, so I just need to break in, or maybe my P-Mags are broken in. But And also, when the magazine is fully loaded, this little white thing sticks out to let you know that you have a fully loaded magazine in case you're blind and can't see that the window is full. So let me get that out of the way. I'll show you the cleaning kit. All right, so here's the cleaning kit they give you with the gun, and it is really nice, you guys. So you get an oiler, it's empty, so you can put in whatever oil you like. Here's the, uh, the rods and the handle. You get a really big brush to clean out the receiver with this. It's nice, I'm going to use this on my AR receivers. Looks like it'll be perfect for that. Also, just a general brush. What else we got here? Got the bore brush. Swivels, and also this is the uh, tool to adjust the front sight and the chamber brush. So yeah, that's that's pretty nice. I mean, most guns that I got, you don't even get any cleaning kit, or they just give you like a little crappy nylon brush. So that is nice. I'm gonna get all this stuff out of here. And uh, really, the one complaint that you'll find about the gun. Really the only complaint you can ever find about this gun is the trigger. And uh, yeah, it's compared to an AR trigger, it does suck. But compared to any other bullpup, it's actually pretty good. And it's not necessarily a bad trigger, it's just a heavy trigger. Um, it is all metal, like the trigger, the linkage, all the components in the trigger group are metal, so it does have a nice metallic feel. It's just heavy. That's really the only problem with this, about 11 pounds. But it is crisp. And there's, it's not mushy since it's all linkage, and most bull pups, the trigger linkage pushes instead of pulls. And so, right, is that, that's what causes a mushy trigger in most bull pups, because the problem is when you have a linkage that pushes, so let's say this is the linkage to the trigger, and you're pushing on the trigger, that linkage can flex. But when you have a pull system like this, you know, it's not going to flex, it's going to pull it tight. So you're not going to have any mushiness in the trigger. All right, let's talk about the magazine release and the bolt catch and bolt release. Because that's really unique on this gun. So right here is the magazine release. Here's the magazine well. And then if you press on here, it's the bolt catch. And you press back here when the bolt is caught to release it. So I'll show you. Insert the magazine. So we'll say we fired our last shot. Bolt is locked open on the last round. As you can see, this dropped down, the bolt is caught. So the advantage of having it set up like this is you can have this up against your shoulder looking down the sights. Reach up, pull your magazine out, rock in your fresh one, rock your hand back, drop the bolt, and you're ready to go without even taking your sight, your eyes off the sights. So that is really really cool and a huge advantage in you know a firefight situation all right so let me grab you the nine millimeter conversion kit and we'll show you how that's going to look all righty so let's take this 556 magazine out so you have your nine millimeter barrel here Right there, made in Israel. Nine para, one in ten twist, cold hammer forged. So obviously your barrel is going to sit on the rifle like this. And here's your nine millimeter breech block. And also, when it's in nine millimeter conversion, 
it's uh, not gas operated so there's no port tapped here for the gas system this operates like a blowback so you can see this is just like a dummy piston on the front it's not actually like a hardened steel gas piston like on the 556 so this is gonna be like this inside the gun just like that and you have magazine well adapter so that Well, it's not going to work with the 556 five, bolt in there, so let's lock that bolt back. Magazine wall adapters in there. There are these two pins. You drive into those holes to secure the adapter. And you have the 32 round stick mag, which is a modified Uzi magazine with a proprietary follower. And the cutout's a little bit different. So, yeah, I mean, essentially, this is how it's going to look. When it's converted to nine millimeter. I tell you, I don't know. I don't know what I'm more excited about just shooting the gun in five five six or the nine millimeter conversion kit. This is just awesome, you guys. So stay tuned for my full review. I'm gonna get some range footage, put some rounds through it, then give you a really full depth and view of how I feel about the gun. But so far, my first impressions is thumbs up. This thing is awesome. Have a good day, you guys.